and there you go. Ah, boys and girls, how you doing? Tommy Morris here, DC TV Sports Network, and I am here with the number one WBO contender in the world, middleweight, Andy Lee. Andy, thanks for being here today, man. Tommy, thanks for having me. Oh, hey, listen, number one in the WBO, uh, long years of training. Uh, who are you looking to get in the ring with? What's your next step? Well, hopefully having a fight here in Detroit. Um, I'm highly, I'm ranked in the top ten across the boards by most of the sanctioning bodies. And we're really pushing out to have a world title fight this year. Um, I have a fight scheduled here for March the 10th, and it will be, you know, a keep busy, stay active fight, but a good, respectable opponent. And, um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm pushing forward and, and hope, trying to make my name in boxing. Now, as far as training, uh, is it, I would imagine it's continuous, but are boxers allowed to kind of cheat during training at all? What I mean by that is with food-wise, or uh, do you like Guinness? Uh, I like a Guinness, <laughs> but only after I fight. You know, uh, after you fight, you get a couple of weeks to blow out and ha even, eat what you want and drink what you want, but when it's fight time and you train and you really need to be eating the right stuff, so... That's really the hardest part is the discipline, you know, uh, no going out at the weekends, you don't get to hang out, you got to stay in and uh, rest, and it's, it is, it's just a full-time job, work, training every day. Now, are you able to, you know, uh, have a little downtime, or are you continually thinking about the next step that you're, that, that you're doing, and, I mean, does your brain ever turn off? Uh, yeah, like you say, I like, um, after fights, you get a few weeks off. And you get to go, I like to go home to my family in Ireland, spend some time there or hang out with my girlfriend and, you know, my friends just do regular stuff and eat what I want and drink what I want. And then when the fight gets made, a man calls me up and says, get back in the gym and then it's time to get to work. Yeah. Now, uh, you're from Ireland. Yeah. Uh, your favorite uh, boxer when you were a kid growing up in Ireland? Uh, both my older brothers boxed, so I always looked up to them. And that's how, really how I got into the sport. But uh, my favorite fighter was Roy Jones Jr., who was a great American fighter. And uh, I had the honor of meeting him. And one of my fights, he did a commentary on it on HBO last year. And, uh, you know, it was great to meet him. And, and, and uh, you know, I've met a lot of the great fighters. And Muhammad Ali, I've met, you know. So, you know, you get to be with these guys. And being around Emmanuel, you get to meet some of the great fighters and train with some of the great fighters. So, it's, you know, you get that experience. And... Um, yeah, well, hopefully to get in the same, be, emulate those guys and be up there with them. Uh, have you run into Tommy Hearns at all? I saw Tommy Hearns yesterday. Uh, oh. He's in the gym, uh, maybe on a weekly basis in the gym. He still comes down and gives me a few pointers. And uh, the first time I ever came to Detroit, the first day I walked into the gym, I boxed with a guy and Tommy Hearns actually did my corner for the sparring session and uh, gave me a lot of tips. And I was very, you know, it was a thrill for me. Yeah. That's very cool. Now, uh, if I mention uh, weight classes, uh, your favorites of all time, the boxers you feel maybe are the best, uh, we'll start off with, uh, we'll go heavyweight. Uh, Muhammad Ali has to be the greatest heavyweight of all time. There's Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis, you know, um, they're both different type of fighters in different eras, but both of them are great and, uh, yeah, they're the greatest. Right, what about light heavyweight? Roy Jones, light heavyweight, yeah, Roy Jones. And uh, middleweight? Me. <laughs> no. nice Sugar, nice Sugar Ray Robinson, who was also born in Detroit, is, is probably the greatest fighter of all time in any weight division. And uh, what about Walter Reed? Walter Reed, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Tommy Hearns, another Detroiter. Tommy Hearns would have been Sugar Ray Leonard. Those guys were top class. Scariest, uh, besides yourself, scariest boxer in the game today, any weight class? Today? I uh, actually train and one of the, the scariest guys, Vladimir Klitschko, he's six foot six and he's 240 pounds and he's just all muscle and uh, when he lets his right hand go, it's, it's pretty scary, yeah. If you were to choose, uh, anyone ask you about a boxing movie between uh, Raging Bull and uh, Rocky One, which one? Raging Bull. So now your fight's coming up again, you said March 10th? March 10th, Kobo. Um, myself is fight. I'm fighting upon Ronald Hearns, Tommy Hearns' son is fighting. A lot of good young kids coming up for the Cronk Gym. Uh, Jacob Bonus, Romanian kid. Um, Eric DeLeon is going to be fighting. Ernie Garza, Mexican kid, is going to be fighting. And we've got a lot of good kids, you know, coming up on the, between me and Ronald and then the, the newer generation coming through. It's going to be a good night. And finding out more information, where can people find you? you have a Facebook page or a website? Uh, I have a Twitter, Andy, Andy Lee Boxing on Twitter. You can get me on there and follow me and uh, get all the news. Hey, there you go. Check him out. Tell you number one, middleweight. Uh, see him come down March 10th. Fight at Cobo Hall. 
It's going to be a great ticket and a uh, great up-and-coming fighter and uh, soon to be hopefully champion here representing uh, representing Kronk. So, uh, Tommy Morris, Andy Lee, Detroit City TV. Later. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Looking forward to talking to you a little bit later.